Hello Mouses! Today, because we're still waiting for a new backup power supply for the editing computer, I'm having to read off the screen of my art computer which can't really edit videos and has no compatibility or processing power to do it. So we're still here just uploading direct from the phone, so if I end up going mmm, uh, ah, uh, and things like that, then you know why. I'm going to get straight into it. We're talking about the news today and the first up is this report about persistent coughs could be some kind of cancer warning. And I think this is really irresponsible to put it out now because right now Britain is having an extended flu season. So people have persistent coughs. And the worst part is the flu virus that's going around at the moment is the kind that makes you think that you're going to get better, you're feeling a bit alright, and then it drops you back in it. And a persistent cough is part of the symptoms. So all I can think from for this is Basically, a lot of hospitals are going to get a lot of worried people coming through for no good reason. They could have worded this to headline an awful lot better, but they didn't. Because that's how people seem to be these days. They don't think before they do. And that's a big problem. And that's all I've really got to say on that, because it just gets me into rant territory. I think, yes, warn people of potential cancer threats. That's great. More people that get, get cancer treatment early on, the better. But don't do it in a way that's going to make people scared for no reason. Because that's irresponsible. And people should be ashamed for doing it. Okay, on to the next thing. And that is South Korea in having problems with imports of capsules of human flesh. Now, I've read from, uh, several reports on this suggesting it's, it does everything from cure cancer to be an aphrodisiac and most of it is coming in from babies and fetuses. I hate to think what's going into the process of making these tablets and the people who are making it should be rounded up and shot as far as I'm concerned. Human flesh capsules? Oh, But they wouldn't be doing it if there wasn't a market for it. Who are these stupid people? Who think eating human flesh is a good idea? Oh, I'll tell you what. The sooner it's dealt with and everyone involved is prosecuted, the better. And I, to be honest with you, I'm not just go, saying go after the people who are making it this time. Most of the time, with these um, fake medicines, I'm saying go after the people who are making it because they're the ones that are causing the trouble. But in this situation, if you are knowingly buying human flesh. You should be ashamed of yourself, and I hope you get prosecuted too. So if anyone here is trying it, and they're watching this video, you're on my list of pathetic, horrible people. You should know better. Okay, final news, and that is, I'm just going to look at the screen because I can't remember. The euro is declining once again. Oh, so it's bad news all around. I'm, I, I, I would show you a picture of a squirrel if I had one. To make things better, but I haven't, so just imagine a squirrel. Hee hee hee, squirrel. The Euro's declining again because pro pro austerity parties in Greece have been losing a little bit, a little bit of ground to the anti paying back their all their debts parties. And no, you you can't just not pay back all the money that you've borrowed from people. We've bailed you out twice. Germany's bailed you out a huge amount. We've bailed you out. A fair amount to and now you think, oh no we're not going to do the austerity measures that were part of the deal to get this money we just want the money you you can't have that and the markets are reacting to it so thanks to a few people basically reneging on their own deals everyone else has to suffer so thanks a lot that's just lovely great wonderful and in france the france is actually interesting because i'm looking at the market data here and the FTSE's down, the DAX down, Dow Jones, NASDAQ, BBC Global 30, I don't know what they are, but they're all down. The only one that's going up is CAC 40, which I had a look at just before I made this video. It turns out it's the French stock market, and it's the only one that's up, and it's up by 0.92%, so well done to France. That is that the only good news that one stock market went up by less than 1%? It seems to be everything's uh, horrible today, but at least, at least it's almost over. <laughs> the day that is, not the bad news. The bad news may go on for a bit longer. What else is there? There's not an awful lot going on, so I'm going to end it there with just a statement that 
I have spent most of the day today trying to clean up an old gate to renew the, renew on the house. And I've been doing it with a wire brush because I'm old school. And good grief. If you ever want to try and get fit, try and rub paint off a gate using a wire brush. It is so tiring. But I feel good for it, you know. So it's a good tired, not a tired tired. Anyway, I'm rambling now, so I'm going to let you go. Until tomorrow, I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson. You've been watching the video, and I'll see you later.